Hello everyone, a good Nerev Shabbos, davening with Parshat Matod Masse. I'd like to dedicate to my dear friend Natan Ben Hirsch, who was taken away from us when I was in my fourth year in Yeshiva, and today is his Yurt site. He died suddenly during that year, and every year I give a shir in his memory, which I did last night, and I'd like to dedicate this davening with Parshat Matod Masse in the memory of Natan Ben Hirsch. In this week's Parsha, we begin by saying, Zehadavar, this is the thing Asher Tziva Hashem that God commanded, and what is it? If you make a vow, do what you said. This is the thing, there's nothing more important than if you make a vow, follow it. If you said something, do it. Exclaims, exclaims this chasm so fair, exactly. Because if you don't follow what you yourself said, if you don't mean what came out of your mouth, then says the Chassam Sofer, you also won't fulfill what the Jewish people accepted at Mount Sinai. So they accepted it. So what? As one of the politicians who is no longer alive of the Israeli government once said, after the elections when he didn't fulfill his election promises, I promised, but I didn't promise to fulfill my promise. That's exactly what the Torah wants to prevent. If you're dishonest with yourself, you're going to be dishonest with people, and you're going to be dishonest with God. If you're honest with yourself, and if you said something, you're going to do it, then you're honest with God as well. I think this is so important at this time of the year when we daven. There are passages in davening that thank God, Shehechianu, that we are in a time when they're just not relevant. If it's the Nachim that we say on Tisha B'Av, there's parts in there that are just not relevant anymore, thank God. The city is not Shomema. It is not Mi'en Yoshev. It is not a city that's desolate without people living in it. In the Vahu Rachum that we say on Mondays and Thursdays, there are passages in there, not full paragraphs, but sentences that say, see our desolation, like your city. This is no longer true, and thank God it's no longer true. And from this perspective, I believe that we have to take our davening very seriously, especially at this time of the year. Do we change it? Do we omit it? Do we leave it the way it is? Make the decision that you think is right and consult your rabbi. But one thing is clear. You can't just say it and not mean it. You have to deal with it. My personal minhag is if it's totally irrelevant, I skip that line. I don't change davening. And sometimes I think it's still relevant. But I think it's important that we at least deal with it. We at least come along and say, we really mean what we say. Wishing everyone a good Shabbos ahead.